and welcome to HISD News. I'm Sarah Osborne. Another week and another new HISD school officially opens its doors to the community. On February 23rd, students and staff at Frost Elementary welcomed Board Trustee Larry Marshall to cut the ribbon, marking the school's official dedication. The new building is colorful and modern and features science and computer labs, as well as smart boards in every classroom. All the state-of-the-art amenities were made possible because of the $805 million bond referendum passed by voters in 2007. That was the elementary bond, and I think our communities, and who kind of were fighting against the bond back in 2007, they're seeing the results of their labor and of their vote, of the passing bond. So what's really important is for our communities to also realize that our secondary schools are in really bad shape. So we've got to make some big decisions on making sure that the schools, the middle schools and the high schools that these kids feed into are also this type of facility. Frost was also designed with eco-friendly features. In fact, the school is projected to have a 21% savings in energy use this school year. February may be coming to a close, but schools across the district continue to recognize Black History Month. At the Martin Luther King Jr. Early Childhood Center, students took part in a talking museum where they dressed up as African Americans they admire. Let's see if you can guess who they are. In addition to the Living Museum, MLK students performed several songs and a play about the Tuskegee Airmen. Meanwhile, over at Lewis Elementary, the entire school was treated to a performance of African American dance as well as jazz music. Students from Lewis also put on skits reenacting important moments in African American history. Student performances were also the highlight of the evening at the district's annual Lunar New Year celebration. More than 400 people attended the festivity, which featured Mongolian, Indonesian, and Chinese dance routines. The event at Kim Sun Restaurant marked the beginning of the Year of the Dragon. But more importantly, it was a celebration of the different cultures that make up HISD. Events like this, especially this Lunar New Year event, it just celebrates the diversity that we have in HISD. And that, and that really celebrates the richness of the culture and the, and the differences of, of our community coming together as one to really be able to learn and experience what great things we have in our district. In addition to the student performances, the event also featured exhibits showcasing different Asian cultures, as well as an award ceremony honoring outstanding HISD teachers. Every month, the district recognizes the efforts of an employee who goes above the call of duty. Aaron Casaris has more on the honoree for February. Making a remarkable impact as a plant operator at Ortiz Middle School has earned Cesar Gonzalez the honor of HISD's Employee of the Month for February 2012. Hi Cesar, how are you this morning? All right, and you? Good. Cesar takes pride in his work. He goes beyond what is expected. He has built relationships with us here at Ortiz, not just with us, but with uh, students, teachers, staff, parents. He's not just about the work, but he's about the kids and the relationships also. Cesar has served the district for 24 years and was assigned to Ortiz Middle School last year. I feel great that uh, people is noticing what we do for, for the kids and for the buildings. And uh, I feel honored to be the employee of the month for the month of February and uh, to work with the staff that we got at this school, especially the principals and the assistant principals here. Mark your calendars. There are two important dates coming up. On Tuesday, February 28th, from 7 to 8 p.m., HISD TV will be hosting a live star forum for parents and students. You at home can ask a panel of experts questions about the new state exam via phone, email, and Twitter. The forum will be broadcast live on HISD TV and on the district's website. You can send your questions beforehand to star at HoustonISD.org.
Then on Wednesday, February 29th, come on out to district headquarters for the Career and Technical Education College Fair from 5 to 7 p.m. Students and parents will be able to explore career and college options with technical and vocational representatives from throughout the city and state. Time now for the HISD Fast Fact of the Week. Did you know that HISD warehouse workers deliver 500,000 products, supplies, and pieces of furniture every year? That's it for this edition of HISD News. Be sure to check us out on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. We leave you now with more sights and sounds from the Lunar New Year celebration. I'm Sarah Osborne, and I'll see you next week.